Hi Taurus, welcome to Carol's Universe, Tarot Readings from the Heart. Thanks ever so much for joining me on your week ahead. Reading 26th through 2 of January for you to the 1st of February. Uh, so I'm coming to you on screen this week because usually I would hone down on the cards through the camera. But it takes ages and ages to edit those videos. And over the last few weeks what I've noticed since I've come back into recording is number one, my viewership has definitely gone down big, big time because I just couldn't record over the last few months I was too ill um, and also I had a lot of clients that I needed to finish year aheads for and stuff like that so that really put me back and the other thing is that's been happening is I've been trying to upload for the signs but I've not been being upload I've not been able to upload for everyone because I've had commitments to the website and stuff like that and at the same time last week the fire signs weren't even uploaded and I just thought you know this has got to change so for the next few weeks while I'm trying to get back on my feet with the channel and stuff you're going to see me on the videos talking to you guys and it will just go straight up okay for the reading uh let's have a look so that this might hurt tarot deck by Isabella Rotman showing up here okay so we're going to use this deck for the reading we're also going to use the spiritual advice the power of surrender cards and uh also the tea leaf uh, fortune cards okay let's make a start on the reading also the readings are going to be a little bit smaller okay right so universe spirit show me for taurus what do you see for taurus this week what does taurus need to focus on this week what does Taurus need to be focusing on this week in three cards? What does Taurus need to focus on this week? What is going on with Taurus, sorry, this week in three cards? Between the 26th of Jan and 1st of Feb, show me. Let's have a look. So, let's put down. So, the Wheel of Fortune is the focus. Focus. Ooh. Uh, Wheel of Fortune, interesting card. Fate, destiny, changes for the better. Wheel of Fortune, energy. It doesn't even have to be changes for the better. When it's time for a change to come, so this is divine timing. We don't control the will. The universe usually does. So changes around you this week, completion, wheel of fortune. It's influenced by the high priestess. So there's a high priestess influencing those changes. Okay. So high priestess is a spiritual card. Do I see her as a god or anything like that? No, I don't. But what's influencing this is the high priestess so we've got a change coming in the wheel of fortune and it's influenced by the high priestess some of you guys your intuition might be telling you it's time for a change for example showing up here uh, the root cause is about the king of wands energy i feel that you've accomplished everything that you need to accomplish in a certain area here taurus so i think that your intuition is telling you it's time for a change in uh, the root cause is because you've accomplished what you need to accomplish in the recent past the temperance energy showing up here. So in the recent past, you've experienced the temperance energy. I think that you've been trying to achieve some form. I think you've been probably experimenting with something new here. If we get an ace after that, it feels like you've been experimenting with something new. Uh, the most likely outcome will be the five of wands, though. There may be some challenges that you face showing here with that five of wands. Uh, coming in, what are you experiencing, though? The eight of coins energy. You might be mastering a new skill for some of you guys, Taurus, with that eight of coins energy. You might be going to a workshop or a night class or something like that, learning new skill with the eight of coins energy. Um, how are you approaching everything at the moment? Four of cups energy showing up here. Um, I feel with the four of cups right now, I, I just feel that you know, I mean, it's interesting because you've got an ace being handed to you there, but you're not interested in it. Four of Cups is apathy and boredom. You're approaching everything through... I mean, how do you approach everything through boredom on these cards, Taurus? Because you're the one whose intuition is telling you that it's time for a change. You've accomplished what you need to accomplish, King of Wands, and you've been experimenting with something new, Temperance Energy. But there are... The most likely outcome is there's going to be challenges with that path, that Temperance path that you're taking here. Um, and you're approaching those cards so far with the Four of Cups energy showing you. I think there's something specific that you're doing. I think that also you're approaching everything through the power of prayer with that Four of Cups energy showing you. So there's a sense of needing to believe in a higher force, needing to believe that you can achieve things through prayer and through um, through uh, heavenly intervention. Uh, what are your, what's the advice, Taurus, for you? The Eight of Cups energy in the reverse. Maybe you need to return to something here with the Eight of Cups in the reverse. It's telling you that it's not time to set out on this new path to go back to what you were doing before, probably with the Eight of Cups being reversed. What are your hopes showing here? Uh, hopes of a victory, success, support, achievement, Six of Wands, recognition. 
Uh, where are things heading to as a result of that eight of coins showing there? The judgment energy showing here. I mean, judgment could be release uh, showing here. It could be a new beginning, a transformation, because this is all about being released into a new life. So I think that leading on in the long run, you'll be able to um, you'll be able to indulge in this new phase with judgment. You're entering a new phase with judgment energy as a result of the skills that you are now indulging in, that you're now learning. So I do feel that you guys are learning something new coming in towards the end of the week or going into the following weeks. I actually feel that your intuition is telling you, High Priestess and that wheel, it's time for a change. Okay, and uh, the root cause is because you've accomplished everything that you need to accomplish where you are right now. You've been experimenting with new things um, or with something new within the recent past, the last two to three weeks. Uh, but the most likely outcome is so far is that you still face challenges or there may be some worries around this. I see you by the end of the week or going into the next couple of weeks, uh, Taurus. You're going to be going back to college or you're going to be doing a course. Or you're going to be learning a new skill here. The advice from the universe, though, is to Eight of Cups. I feel it's actually, if I'm being honest with you, I feel it's not to completely abandon something that you were thinking to abandon. Because I just feel that with that King of Wands, the reason why your intuition is telling you that it's time for a change here, Taurus, is because you've accomplished everything that you need to accomplish with that King of Wands energy showing there. And I actually feel, uh, Taurus, that the universe is saying, that's fine, there's nothing wrong with that, but don't completely abandon what you're doing right now. You know, it almost feels like you need to do whatever this thing is, the eight of coins. Don't complete everything. Don't, um, you know, don't completely abandon everything that you've done right now. Even though you might think that you've come to the end of a line with that King of Wands energy and you've accomplished everything you need to, it may be that you shouldn't be abandoning where you are right now because with the eight of coins energy, you need to work hard towards accomplishing this new phase. So everything comes with time and planning with the eight of coins energy. If you can do that you will actually start, you will actually be able to enter this new phase. All right, it's leading on to a new phase with the judgment energy and the overall outcome. Okay, it's a very good reading. Let's have a quick look at what the um, the angel cards are telling you to surrender this week. What is it that you feel that Taurus needs to surrender to this week? What does Taurus need to surrender to this week? Show me one card. Uh, surrender your fear of intimacy is the card. It says... You are ready to let love in. Compassionately identify and begin to release any patterns that stop you from opening your heart. Okay. And finally, three cards for the tea leaves, please. Three cards. Three cards for the tea leaf cards. Show me. Whatever advice you have for Taurus this week. Right. Scales. Keep your life in balance. Okay. Um, Al. Good advice from a wise person. So keep your life in balance and get good advice from a wise person and uh, especially when it comes to especially when it comes to concerns or affairs within the family all right that is your week ahead reading taurus i'd like to say thanks ever so much for joining me on carol's universe if you like your own private reading click on the link in the comment section below or in the description box have a great week guys take care Bye bye